Soros-backed group emerges to fight Trump's SCOT U.S. Pick a political advocacy group founded in early 2018 seeks to stop the confirmation of U.S. President Donald Trump's pick for Supreme Court Justice, Brett Kavanaugh, to replace outgoing Justice Anthony Kennedy. Demand Justice has committed to spending $5 million to fight the confirmation of Kavanaugh and aims to raise $10 million in 2018, according to a New York Times article featuring an interview with Brian Fallon, the group's executive director. Brian Fallon, Demand Justice's executive director, was once a spokesperson for Hillary Clinton, worked under Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer DNY, on Capitol Hill and spoke in 2018 at a conference held by Democracy Alliance, a fundraising group to which Soros belongs. Demand Justice's chief counsel is Christopher Kong, a longtime aide to former President Barack Obama. Because of its structure, it is impossible to determine how much money from Soros the organization has received. The group plans to run advertisements to help Democrats in the midterm election and push back on those who stray from the party line in key states, as well as asking lawmakers to oppose the nominations of judges that would overturn U.S. abortion laws. Demand justice is financed heavily by satellite organizations, which are in turn funded by liberal financier George Soros. Demand Justice is financed and organized by the 1630 Fund, which receives a huge amount of money from Soros. Demand Justice was registered with the D.C. Department of Consumer and Regulatory Affairs by the 1630 Fund on May 2. Demand Justice is exempt from filing tax returns because it's fiscally sponsored by a tax-exempt social welfare organization, the 1630 Fund. Both groups share one address. Social welfare organizations do not have to disclose who their donors are and are allowed to participate in political activity as long as said activity constitutes less than half of the organization's operations. The 1630 Fund's mission is to provide education and build a base of grassroots activism and a national movement to demand the advancement of a new agenda on a broad range of issues, according to a 2014 financial statement by the organization. It bills itself as a grassroots organization despite the fact that it receives 70% of its funding from just three donors, one of them is the Open Society Policy Center, a funding arm of Soros Operations, which gave the 1630 Fund some $2.27 million between 2012 and 2016, according to its tax forms. In its summary of lobbying activities for the first quarter of 2017, the Open Society Policy Center OSPC, confirmed it had provided the 1630 Fund with $250,000 for that period. This establishes a link in working relationship between Soros OSPC and the Fund, but as the OSPC's summary filings for this quarter, Q3 2018, are yet to be published, it's impossible to determine exactly how much Soros has donated to the group to fight the confirmation of Judge Kavanaugh to the U.S. Supreme Court, contrary to the oft-repeated line that Soros pays protesters, his organization's methods of operation for funding liberal activism rather include funneling money from organization to organization in ways that are difficult to discern with cash eventually falling into the hands of one that galvanizes the masses to action with liberal messaging. This is just the latest political campaigning group to receive funding from Soros, with the globalist billionaire donating large sums of cash to a pro-EU group aiming to stop Brexit earlier this year, and backing countless pro-immigration organizations via the Open Society Foundation. His donations have proved controversial, especially in Hungary, with Budapest claiming that Soros attempted to meddle in the country's recent parliamentary elections to remove the Eurosceptic Fidesz party from power, and replace them with more amenable politicians, to serve his interests. Last month, the Hungarian government successfully passed its so-called Stop Soros Act, limiting the ability of pro-migrant NGOs to operate in the country. Read more.